be able to just go out and walk in peace with your animals. And I think there's probably a good fear of that ever happening again. The aunt of a 17 year old girl who was attacked by a pit bull while walking her dog this week is now talking exclusively to Creme 2 News. Tonight she asked not to be on camera because of threats that her family has received online. Thank you for joining us here on Creme 2 News First at Four. I'm Whitney Ward. Police say the teenager was walking her dog around the west central neighborhood of Spokane when two dogs ran out of a house and attacked her. That's when her dog Coco stepped in to protect the girl. The dogs, though, kept attacking. Our Nicole Hernandez talked to the family who said the whole ordeal has left them traumatized. Meet Coco, one year old, definitely energetic German Shepherd. Yeah, she's a good puppy. Now, though, Coco doesn't have much of that energy. She's pretty quiet the last couple days. Home recovering from the attack. My niece was out walking her dog and two dogs had come out of their house and went for my niece and her dog intervened. Coco jumping in saved the 17 year old from getting hurt, but the dogs didn't stop attacking. Her dad could hear it all the way from down the street. He could hear the dogs and the screaming and um, that she was on the corner. So he ran out to help, grabbing his gun on the way. I think he just grabbed it because in the moment you hear your child and the dog's in the background and you don't know what you're going to get. What he got was a terrified daughter and an injured dog under attack. No one could get them free and her dog was, they thought that she was dead because <clears throat> there was blood everywhere and she was like lifeless on the ground. She did pull through, making it to the animal hospital to get treatment for a fractured leg. She's at home right now resting. She does have to go to the vet daily. Those appointments getting expensive for a dad who was already going through it. He's the main provider in the home and just had back surgery a couple weeks ago. Now a lot of the money they'd set aside for that gone in vet bills. So Aunt Alicia started a GoFundMe. I guess the goal is to just kind of help lessen the burden on them and help get Coco everything that she needs to be fully recovered, both physically and emotionally. I know it was extremely traumatizing uh, and probably will affect both of them for a very long time. Time, what Coco needs to get back all that puppy energy. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, Creme 2 News.